Cane toads were first introduced to Queensland in the 1930s to kill cane beetles. However, this failed and resulted in an increase in the number of cane toads population spreading across Queensland, the Northern Territory, and New South Wales, which has approximately 200 million cane toads. People should care about toads because um, they're emblematic of the problem of invasive species. Um, it was a bad idea to bring them here and they've had a massive impact. Um, and that impact hasn't, hasn't gone away over time. This large population poses adverse impacts to Australia's biodiversity and ecosystem. Cane toads are tough and adaptable creatures. They use their toxin to kill native species like guanas, snakes and coals. Because these native species are intertwined in the forest web of life, any decline of native species has a detrimental impact on Australia's environment. Due to the importance of this issue, the Intergovernmental Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystems, IPBES, has also included this invasive species into its agenda, aimed at creating solutions against their negative effects. Uh, there's been a large amount of research that has, has gone into toads at this point um, and that research has involved both their impact on, on predators and, and their impact on, on native communities um, and we're starting to get a pretty good handle on, on that impact. In terms of, of translating that into actual action on the ground, um, there's actually it's been difficult to do it. Toads breed quickly and every season one female toad can produce between 8,000 to 35,000 eggs per bunch. Um, we're in a position to actually um, affect some change. For example, um, it looks like uh, it's possible to train some of the predators to avoid toads. Um, so that's quite an exciting prospect. Um, another exciting prospect is that we might actually be able to stop the toad invasion in about 10 years. There's a, there's a good place in the landscape where it would be very possible to stop them. Um, and if we, if we do that, uh, we, we do that by reducing their access to artificial water that is brought up by, by pastoralists. Um, so if we cut off toads' access to that water in the right place at the right time, we can potentially stop the toad invasion and we can keep them out of, you know, 270,000 square kilometres of the country. Cane toads can be disposed humanely by stunning and beheading, using carbon dioxide for more than four hours to poison the toads, covering toads with spray, keeping them in the freezer, and currently there is an ongoing research in which their toxin is converted into traditional medicine and exported to China to treat cancerous prostate cells. What can individuals do about uh, reducing the impact of toads? Or, well, firstly I, I would say that um, probably the most important thing that, that people could do is be aware that toads uh, are out there. Um, they could, uh, certainly if they're living in a place where there's toads or they're traveling to a place where there's toads, they want to be very careful not to, not to move them um, into places where they, where they aren't. Um, that's probably the most important thing that any individual could do and, and, and the reality is that most people do that. But that said, um, we still have, you know, in excess of, of 50 cane toads turning up in Sydney every year just because of the the huge number of, of people moving backwards and forwards into Sydney. From 1996 to 2013, the Australian government has spent almost $726 million on the management and research of invasive species through supporting the Grand Fund, which has significant effect upon the Australian economy. They also spent more than $2 million from 2008 to 2010 to support the cane toad population reduction plan especially fixing the damage caused by amphibians. Most recently, they've invested 500,000 over two years since 2014 in the Kimberley Cane Toad Cleanup Program. As scientists and researchers start to develop more and more tools that are actually useful for management, we would expect to see um, probably more involvement from, from government agencies in the actual rollout of, of, um, of plans to mitigate the impact of toads.